Greetings friends, I'm Eurogamer's Ian Higton and this is uh, a brand new, brand new live stream from a brand new PC. Yep, that's right, I got myself a brand new PC finally. After many years with my rickety old piece of crap, I've finally got a brand new PC that's built specifically for gaming and uh, hopefully we'll see some improvements in the stream's gameplay for a start. I've tried this out before uh, earlier on and for a start there is no more, um, oh what's it called, uh, screen tearing like I had on my old screen uh, streams and stuff. So wonderful stuff, I'm looking forward to uh, doing loads of high quality live streams for you all now. Um, and I thought, you know, I, I've just come back from Brighton, I've spent like three nights in the office, like working 15 hour days till like the first night was like till 10 in the morning like so I'm super like I feel like I'm kind of jet lagged so uh, and basically it's just I'm unwinding from all the craziness of E3 all the crazy uh, conferences and reveals and stuff uh, with some player unknowns battlegrounds which I've not been able to play for a, a couple of weeks because my PC died and uh, yeah, and also I'm going to be testing out my brand new PC, so very excited. Um, and uh, hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to get some kills for you all. I did, um, I did try out uh, this PC a little earlier, and uh, I managed to get a kill. So fingers crossed, I'll get more for you right now. Just technically. Well, don't go expecting any kills, because if you know me, then you'll know that I'm rubbish at this game. But, you know, it's the game runs a lot smoother for me now. If you've watched me play PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds before, you'll know that at the start, there's normally the sound card in my old computer couldn't hack it, and it was like, like made horrible crackling noises. Now, the sound's fine. Uh, I can run the game in Ultra. Uh, before it was set to medium by default, now it sets it to ultra by default. It looks a lot nicer. Still, the game's still a little bit janky. You still get some laggy stuff with the game um, and the servers, but graphically, everything, it's so much better than before. Um, I'm going to block you. Uh, just a quick warning, if you're brand new to these live streams, there's not many rules on these live streams. Uh, the main rule, and the one that I like people to stick to, is don't be a dick. Okay, if you're a dick, you'll get banned pretty quickly. Uh, if you're not a dick, then you can stick around and you can have lovely fun times with me and the rest of the uh, Eurogamer crew. On all our lovely live streams. Uh, so yeah, don't be a dick and we'll all get along fine. Uh, unlike that person who was a dick just then. And I totally banned him instantly. So, uh, you can't hear the game, people are saying. Oh, I, I will try and sort that out for you. Um, let's see why you can't hear the game. There will be some... I don't want to drop myself. I don't want to drop myself in a sea. Uh, there will be a few technical issues, I'm sure, as I'm ironing things out. Okay, it's just very, very quiet. So two seconds. Let me land, and then I will turn the volume of the game. When I was testing it earlier, people said the game was too quiet, so uh, too loud. Now it's too quiet, so. Give me a second. Let's put that to about there and punch a wall or something. Hopefully that'll be all right. Uh, I have, because of this, I've dropped way out of my, the place I normally like to land. So now I'm. Sounds like the sound's back, hold on. I'm just gonna... So yeah, bear with me while I'm testing. Basically, I've had this PC for about two hours. 
So, <laughs> fiddling around with things. Hey, Steve Scotes. Hey, Bryce Walton. Hey, Iceman Garage. Hey, Chris Reckless. Joan D. Alex Marchant. Rena Watt. And many other people. There we go. We can hear it. We can hear the gun sounds now. The, the, the audio is back. All right. That's... Let's have it like that. I will be continuing to look into the comments just to make sure things are working all right. So if the sound is not great or something's happened weird, uh, keep spamming it. I'll read it at some point. Two hours. Did you even update the drivers, man? I did update the drivers. I did. Um... I got them, uh, I updated, I used the GeForce Experience thing to update it all. This, driving this car will be when we figure out if the game is too loud or too quiet. Because those... Oh, oh fuck. Those cars are very loud. Will you play this on the Xbox One? Yes, I will play it on the Xbox One. Um, I will definitely play it on the Xbox One. Uh, I would like to do community streams on the Xbox One with people. To be honest, uh, I would prefer this to come out on the PlayStation 4 because my Xbox One is a little bit broke. Uh, but anything that allows me to play on a joypad rather than mouse and keyboard is is good by me. So I've not got the best weapons yet. Good job being well done, it's such a nice one. So sounds fine, excellent, good work. Hello everyone. We've got 200 people watching so uh, yeah, hopefully you've all had a lovely time. What have been your games of E3? Everyone asks that question. And it's such an unoriginal question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Uh, my games of E3, whoop, the ones that really uh, made me go, whoa, were as follows. Um, Far Cry 5, I, I'm bound to say that, aren't I? Because I'm a Far Cry mega nerd. But Far Cry 5 made me go, whoa, especially seeing the, uh, the video that Aoife and Chris produced that's up on our YouTube channel right now. They uh, they did like an 11 new things or something video. It's very cool. Uh, saw loads of cool stuff like dog fighting in airplanes, which looks awesome. And you also get a dog friend called Boomer, who, um, I've been told, can die in the game if you're not careful. So that's going to probably make me cry at some point. Um, because... If you're a regular viewer, you'll know my track record with keeping NPC friends alive is not not good. Other games that made me go, whoa, uh, Wolfenstein 2. I love the look of that. It looks wild crazy. Uh, and I like crazy. Ooh, backpack level 3. Uh, what else? What else made me go, whoa, Skyrim VR. for Skyrim for PlayStation VR. That made me do a big wow in the office. I was not expecting, because I really wanted Fallout 4 to come out on PlayStation VR. And they did the whole thing of, yeah, it's coming out on the Vive. And I was like, oh, I'm, I'm kind of sad now. And then they were like, oh, oh I'm, uh, Skyrim on PlayStation VR there. It's like, whoa, shit, son. So, yeah, that, um, very happy to see that. Um, cause I've always gone on about PlayStation VR, not having very many like games that would last you a long time and Skyrim's like will last you forever basically. Uh, what else, what else was there that really made me go, whoa, uh, Doom Virtual Fucking Reality sounds, uh, is, does look good-ish, but I don't have a vibe so... Uh, oh, I missed the four grip. Sorry, Dominic Kevill. I'm too busy ch talking about E3. I'm not paying much attention. Um, let's go sh no, let's go shack up in the buildings over here. Uh, Doom, Doom Virtual Fucking Reality kind of... I don't have a vibe, so I wouldn't be able to play it. And also, I'm not too keen on the whole 
teleporting to move thing that they're, they're doing with it. I prefer free movement. Um, it's not great for some people, makes people feel a little bit sicky when they're playing VR games, but uh, I, I've i got my VR legs and I'm m very used to doing free move in VR from playing Resident Evil 7, so I'm really looking forward to... Like, I'd kind of written Skyrim off. I completed it recently. Uh, I've been doing live streams on my personal YouTube channel and uh, I'd recently completed it while well, the main campaign, you know, uh, done all the path and X stuff and things and I just kind of said to myself, ah, I'm going to leave it there, you know, can't be bothered to do all the side quests and stuff. Well, now, now I totally can. I'm really excited to, to do all the side quests and things now. So that's going to be cool. Um, what else? Call of Duty World War Two looks kind of good. It looks like same old, same old. But um, I still, I don't know, I still got quite excited by it. Same Battlefront 2. Uh, definitely, definitely looking forward to seeing more of that in action and playing that this year. Uh, big Star Wars fan. I liked Battlefront 1. I did, I really did like Battlefront 1 for the first, like, two or three weeks and then because the gameplay was so shallow it got a bit boring for me so I, I've I'm, I'm hoping that Battlefront 2 will give us a bit more depth a bit more longevity to the gameplay there was other things what was the other things that made me go Woo! trying to how's that Don't know why I did that. Um, Wolfenstein? Did I say Wolfenstein? I think I probably... T one thing about this E3 was that I didn't think it was super brilliant compared to other E3s. There was not a huge amount like of epic reveals or tr like super amazeballs games uh oh fucking close the door you prick Is he going to come up? He's running around. Uh oh. Shot him in the dick. Uh. Alright, close the door. Yes! This PC makes it so much easier to kill people. Amazing. It didn't lag once when I was trying to aim then. Sexy. What's that? Five six six twelve gauge. Didn't have any scopes. Oh holy shit! That's so cool. Perhaps my my absolute terribleness with this game was just down to the uh, down to the controls after all. Finally. Uh. I've been redeemed. Most people are like, oh, Bad Boykman always blames his tools when I said, it's my PC. Maybe it actually is. Or maybe that was just a fluke. Either way, I'm glad I managed to get a kill for you all during this stream. Right, I need to bandage up. 
What's the specs? Um, hey, don't touch this at all. He says, what's the specs? So the specs are, and I'm not very PC, but I think it's a GT 1060, GTX 1060. Is that, does that sound right? Um, and it is a i5 and I don't know what else. Hey, close to Pete. Hey, Miss Fraggle Rocks. Hey, Steve Scott. Hey, Cullet Gaming. Welcome. I'm so tired. I'm very tired after E3, but that that's put me in a very good mood. All right, bandage, bandage. Um, come on. I can hear another car. Metro Exodus. That was the other one. I don't know why I did that. Just felt like being a dick. Alright, we're not in the centre, are we? So I'm going to try and aim somewhere. That looks like a nice cluster of houses to aim for. Yeah, Metro uh, looks well good. Metro Exodus. Yeah, not a huge amount of games. But the ones that I was keen for, um, I'm very keen for. Can't believe your new PC didn't come with trousers for your character, says Peter Gray. Peter Gray! This is the clan I'm in on this, with the No Pants Clan. I bought a GTX 1060, uh, super happy, play everything in high plus settings at 60 frames per second. I've, like I said, I've only had this computer for about two hours. Um, I got home and instantly set it up, did a couple of test streams, and um, now we're here. I, um, I'm sure there are some ways that I can tune it to improve it. Uh, but, yeah, this is like the very first official stream I've done on it, so uh, it's pretty cool. Oh, my love has gone away. Have you played the older Metros? I have. I'm a big fan of the older Metro games. I love kind of story-driven, single-player, like, like survival horror games, like Dead Space, the Metro games. Absolutely love them. Big, big fan of the Metro games. In fact, one of the very, very first games journalism gigs I ever did was to um, go and play Metro 2033 and I got to interview Dmitry Glukovsky, the uh... Oh shit! What? That rock, that invisible rock there did me some damage. I got to interview Dmitry Glukovsky who is the... Someone's in that building, no maybe? I don't know. Uh, someone's definitely looted it. Yeah, I got to interview the guy who wrote the Metro books basically and I have a Metro 2033 book signed by him. So, uh, yeah, name dropping much. <laughs> South Park, um, South Park game. South Park, um, the fractured butthole. I mean, the fractured butthole. That looks great as well. Uh, that's, there's a, a let's play of that up on our channel right now. Chris Nefer played that and, um, it's quite amusing, actually, because uh, in the in the demo they went to a strip club. Uh, Aoife, of course, was loving that. She was getting all the uh, the strippers to uh, gyrate on her face, which was making poor little Chris Brat, poor little innocent Chris Brat, turn a lovely shade of red. He got very he got very very uh, embarrassed and shy about it all. Didn't know what to say, bless him, in parts of it. But that's, uh, yeah, that's that looks like a really good fun game to play. I uh, really enjoyed the first South Park, The Stick of Truth. So, yeah, looking out for that as well. Um, I'm very, I'm being very rude and not reading what you guys are looking forward to at E3. I hope you're having a, a chat about those in the comments yourselves. Let's have a look. I think we're safe for now. Yeah, we're safe for now. Let's have a look. Ian's so old he did a story for Iron Pong. I am very old. 
Uh, Chris laughed so hard during... Uh, Steve Scoes laughed so hard during Chris and Aoife's Let's Play, said. Hello, bloody rip, uh, bloy ripper. Uh, decrepit chef, how's it going? Matthew Granary's here as well. Thanks to Iceman Garage for dropping some Steam codes in the chat. Lovely chap. Uh, loads of people watching. Kane Dracula. He's happy Metroid is getting some love again. Yes. Metroid Prime 4 is being made. And Metroid 2 is being remade, which is cool. Uh, hello, Ollie's Gaming, who wanted a shout out. The Just moved in. I'm just on the edge of the gas there. Uh, Cloister Pete is watching as well. Assassin, what do you think of Assassin's Creed, says Mecha Robots? So I've... I've not been that excited by Assassin's Creed games for a long time. I, the last one I really kind of enjoyed was Black Flag. Uh, but I did like the fact that there's um, friendly Egyptian cats in this one. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know whether I... Whether, I'm not excited for it. But that's just because I kind of... I've played so many Assassin's Creed games, I've kind of gone off them a bit. If they show a bit more gameplay uh, and show some innovative stuff, then I think I'll be well up for making a return to it. But, I don't know, at the moment, um, at the moment it's not really doing it for me. Someone's here. Pretty sure I can hear someone running around on the grass. Kind of quiet though, so I think they're far away. Just heard a car as well. Yeah, it's definitely someone running around. Yeah, big time. Better not steal my car. I can be patient. What do you think of the new Ubisoft pirate game? It kinda looks cool. It does it it basically is a just recycled Assassin's Creed 4 ship bit though. So Not sure about it yet. Johnny's well excited. Johnny loves pirates. Anything with the sea shanty and he's all over that shit. I was very excited to hear that this was coming to consoles though. This year as well for Xbox. Whether or not it will actually come. I always feel a little bit wary with these games ever since like Dean Hall turned up at Gamescom about five years ago and went oh yeah Days Eve's coming to PlayStation 4 it's like is it though probably not I have a bit more faith in this though they really seem like oh shit the team behind this really seem like they know what the fuck's going on Where'd he go? <laughs> I 
this is where I'm gonna my situational awareness is bums what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump out of here get get in my jeep and get the fuck out of here perhaps Yeah, I'm going to have to. Oh, what? Well. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, God! I don't know what the hell happened there. I don't, I, I don't know how my car exploded then, or how I got thrown out of it. I've just got, I've just got to run. Oh, gas is coming in. That was so weird. Uh, the specs are, it's an i5 GTX 1060, and I don't know. <laughs> I probably should. Oh, fuck no. Hey! Where did he go? That was the guy in the building, I think. Oh, God, that's weird. The other car was um, was unfortunately broken. Okay, we're good. We're good for now. Oh, someone's pretty sure I heard someone running then. Drink an energy drink. Oh, cock waffles. <laughs> oh, ball bags. I don't know where the fuck that came from. Must have been someone in the gas. Because I was looking like everywhere that wasn't gas. So, yeah, I presume someone came through the gas and shot me in the back. Oh, well. Number 20. That's not too bad for my first uh, first. First game back on a stream. Then I think the nerves got the better for me there. Are you going to get a Nino Cooney live stream? Um, probably, possibly. I don't think I'll do the whole of Nino Cooney, but I'll definitely do like um, you know a launch day Nino Cooney stream, so you guys and girls can see what it's like and whether or not you'll hunt or play it and pay it. Right, let's go straight back in again. Looks like you're getting better at this game, says Matthew Granary. I think so. I put it down to my PC. Uh, that was a lot easier. Like, when that guy was coming through the door, then it didn't... When I shot that guy, it didn't, like, judder and freeze and stuff, which it did a lot on my old PC. So, yeah, this graphics card's uh, fabulous. Fabulous, sir. It's a mwah. Up top left hand side of the screen, by the way, is my Twitter uh, a Twitter handle. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you'll get updates on all our live streams, whether it's Nino Cooney or this or whatever. I also do live streams on my personal channel, and I tweet out whenever we do a Eurogamer video as well up on our Eurogamer YouTube channel. We're getting very close now to um, 400,000 subscribers, which is very cool, very exciting. Um, We'll have passed outside Xbox in no time. Talking of outside Xbox, actually, I'd, um, if you're a fan of outside Xbox or outside Extra, I actually did a video recently with Mike and uh, Mike from outside Xbox and Ellen from outside Extra. We played Micro Machines together. Uh, there's one video on this channel where I win. 
Like, I actually beat Mike at a racing game, unbelievably. And there's another video on their channel where I can't, I lose and Mike wins, but, you know. I still did win against Mike at a racing game. So that's good. Just gonna move my mic. 400k subs part high, says Stroyer. Not there just yet. We still got, what, about 10,000 or something? I can't even remember now. I just remember looking and thinking, oh, that's kind of close. Let's have a look, shall we? So if you are, uh, if you haven't subscribed already and just stumbled across us, do uh, uh, 7,400 subscribers till 400,000. So yeah, if you haven't done already, do subscribe. Um, it'll be much appreciated. Daily videos, loads of different stuff. Uh, me, Chris, Johnny and Aoife, we've all got different tastes in games and different like speciality subjects. So there's loads of stuff. There's stuff for everyone to enjoy, and we get together and play games together as well. And I want to try and get us all together playing this at some point. Uh, I know Chris, Johnny, uh, me, Chris, and Johnny have got a copy of the game. I need to convince Aoife to play it so we can do a four-player, a four-squad match. But yeah, like I'm, I'm the oldest one of the team, probably the most immature of the team. Uh, I say probably, definitely. But I so a lot. I do a few video. I do a series called Games You Never Knew Existed on this channel, which is kind of like a little retro history lesson. So I heard a door go. Um, about games. Fuck it up. <laughs> oh shit. It's um. Yeah, it's a series about basically. Old school games that have the same name as new school games. Um, and so, yeah, some cool retro stuff there, all about games that load from tapes and things. Um, Johnny does his uh, Chiodini's Kitchen cooking show where he makes video game inspired recipes. Chris does Here a th Here's a Thing, which is like a, probably the most journalist y thing we've got uh, on our channel. Aoife does um, uh, Late to the Party, which is basically just her swearing a shitload. Um, and yeah, we do loads of other stuff. Live streams every Tuesday. List videos on a Saturday. Let's Plays on a Sunday. Loads of stuff. So that's my sales pitch out of the way. I suppose I better go and try and Kill this guy who was aggressively shooting at me. I'm gonna try. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try my painted escape route. Oh, there he is! Look. Shit. Worst aim ever. Should have gone first person there. Ah, oh, bollocks! Turns out the scar L's better than a pistol. Hey, Chloe Imogen, she says, late to the party is the best. It sure is. I did rubbish then. It's because I was I was because I was self-promoting. I'll do better this time. How's it going anyway in the in the back end? It seems to be looks like the stream's all going well. It looks like uh looks like Fingers crossed touch wood, everything's okay with my brand new PC, so I like that. I like that indeed. I like Kiardini's Kitchen, says Tor Nielsen. Uh, late to the party for the win, says James Bill. Good to see lots of people watching who are obviously regular viewers. Uh, <laughs> who's this? To Tony, Tony Kalanin? Tony Kalin? I think that's how you pronounce it. 83 out of 95. How's the new PC helping you now, Ian, says Andy Herbert. Wow, it's... It, yeah, it didn't really help me there. Good stream in the back end, says Chris Martin. Uh, Chris Kill Martin. Chris Martin? He's from... Uh, what's it? I think I might have to restart the game. Let me just press that. Does that do anything? Oh, dear. Uh, <laughs> stream is great for me, says Iceman Garage. Cool, cool. <laughs> Bollock schnitzels. 
Uh, hello, Callie Warner. I haven't caught an Ian video in a long time, so I'm glad I went on lunch at the right time. Awesome. Hey, Ed, 2003WX. Please find more games that make Chris feel embarrassed. An embarrassed Chris is the funniest Chris. I agree. I agree, Jacob. Right, I think I might have to... I think this game's... Gone. I think it's gone as... I'm going to have to reload. Reload my game, yo! A bit take that there for you. Looking good, Ian. Good to have you back, says Vicky Warren. It's good to be back. I've been... So I love streaming. And I've been... Like, my PC died, and I was like, I've still got to stream. I've, I've got to... I've, yeah, I've got to find a way to stream. So I've been streaming through my PlayStation 4, and the quality's not great, and it's just... I wasn't... In, I really wasn't enjoying streaming through the PlayStation 4, because the quality was a bit bum, and... Yeah, I, I... So I'm glad that the PC's back, and a little bit more production value to it, a little bit more, like, higher quality streams and stuff. So, yeah, I'm very, very happy to be back, and uh, doing more streams and things I'm definitely going to get Chris back on a, a live stream of Battlegrounds David uh, Y and uh, Johnny as well hopefully Chris and Aoife are still out at E3 like Aoife, E3 kind of feels like it's ended for me because um, the conferences are over and you know I've done my shift I've done my five days in the office but uh, when the conference has ended E3 begins for real and uh, at this point at this very moment, Chris and Aoife are in America, uh, just about to go back in for the second day of E3. They've got loads of cool videos and stuff uh, lined up to uh, push out over the next few days and once they're back. So uh, yeah, loads of cool E3 stuff coming from them. But once they're back and uh, their jet lag's gone and stuff, we'll definitely, definitely get a live stream going with a few of them in this and maybe a let's four play as well would be cool doopy 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 doo running through the rain I hate the rain actually the reason I hated the rain levels what there's flames coming out the f side now as well the reason why flames don't work like that don't go towards them the reason why I hated the rain before was because on my old PC it made the game run even slower. Looks like my chroma key's a little bit wonky. I need to sort that out. Um, what the fuck have I jumped out? Oh no, whoops. Jumped out well too early and in a really dangerous place. Do um, Yeah, it really made my PC struggle to run properly. But um, now seems to be doesn't seem to be all right so maybe i'll get used to the uh the rain levels tor nielsen came to Eurogame from cool ghosts cool ghosts is an awesome uh, awesome youtube channel very cool amazing production values on the videos and they're written and presented so well uh definitely check out the cool ghosts youtube channel if you haven't done already Is anyone dropping? There's a few people, one person dropping close to me. They're dropping over there. Alright, for some good stashy loots. Five minutes before death on this run, says Ben Merch. I give myself... I got Oh, I've got a bulletproof vest now. I'm going to give myself six minutes, Ben. Six minutes, I think, is fair. First aid kit and two times scope. This is good. Now I just need a a non bomb hole weapon. Okay, nice, nice assault rifle. What if I can jump from one building to another? Nah, it's not going to happen here. Not going to happen. Let's have a look at the map, and I am well out of the safe zone. Got plenty of time to have a loot and a. Route around. Ooh, a four times scope as well. I need a bag. I'm going to run out of room very, very quickly now. I need a lovely assault rifle. That's what I need. Now I've got like two times and four times scopes. Assault rifle's going to be 
sexy time. Uh, people are asking about spec wise again. I'm not the best with PCs, but it's like a GT 1060 and an i5 with lots of Ramingtons and stuff. It's not like super duper GTX 1080 like Incredi machine, but it's leagues, leagues above the PC I had before. So happy, happy days from me. It means, yeah, it means I'll be able to like not only do like streams in kind of high quality. It also means I'll have, um, I'll be able to capture PC games in high quality as well. Before, like, I had a lot of trouble capturing PC games. They always seem to come out with screen tear, even if I put V-Sync on and stuff. And just because my graphics card was a bit pants. So, yeah. It's good. I'm a, I'm a, I'm very tired and a little bit delirious after E3 stuff, but I'm also a very happy bunny, so yeah. It's good. Good times. Good times ahead. I have got lots of <laughs> Ramingtons. You can tell I'm, uh, I know my, uh, you know, technical, technical gubbins, don't you? Ramingtons and gubbins and teraflopsies and gigawibbles. Solid state hard dribbles. Sixty flames per second. I don't know what I'm talking about now. I need a good rifle. I need a big old rifle. That's a good better bag though, I'll have that. And I'll take the vertical four grip. Attach to that. So uh, as far as I know. And like one, like no one else drops around here. I'm kind of far away from. There's no cars, is there? I'm kind of far away from the safe zone, and I've got two minutes. So I think. Let's have a look. That's quite a run, actually. I was going to say I have enough time to search two buildings, but I think I'm just going to have to speed search this one and then. Leg it. I just want a big assault rifle, that's what I want, so I can stick my four times scope on it. And that'd be happy days as far as I'm concerned. Oh, happy days! Oh, happy days! Oh, fury face! Things are running uh, very smoothly on the new rig, thanks, uh, Ola Lamark. It's all good, all good in the PC herd so far. Is that more? Oh god, I have... There's days when I have such trouble finding scopes, and now I just heard a gunshot. All I'm finding are scopes, and nothing to... nothing decent to put them on. Never happy me. Never satisfied. <gasps> oh! Thought it was a big gun. It was a crossbow. Crossbow, more like. hey -o. Come on, big old gun. Give me a big old gun. Something with a bit of range. Yeah. Oh, that'll do for now. And this is like a mid range gun. Probably not the best for a four times scope, but. What's done is done. Shit, gas is going to come in. I need to start running. Oh, there we go. Look. Abort. Sexy. Okay, I feel like I can, uh, I feel like I'm ready to run out and get shot in the back. Gas is coming in, I need to... <gasps> Ooh, 
I'm going to keep the vector. Okay. It's probably a bad idea. If I put the vector on full auto, stick this on single as my snipey gun. Get the heck out of here. The heck out of here. Get the heck. What am I? Censored? Get the chuff out of here. Okay, I've lasted longer than five minutes, I think. No one coming behind. Oh, it looks so much nicer on than it did in like medium to low quality settings. Wait. Fuck. Fuck. This guy's going to kill me because I'm... Shit. Ah, I'm hitting the... Why can't I hit him? <laughs> Where is he? Where'd you go, little man? Did he just become a mermaid? Why is this... It's not very accurate. I don't... Like... <laughs> what the fuck? Bullets are bad in the water. Yeah, no shit. They are really bad. I'm going to get a bit closer and... Spam my vector at him, I think. When he comes up for air, wherever the hell he is. There he is. <laughs> How is he not dead? <laughs> Nonsense. I there's some shen there's some there's some shenanigans going on here. Finally! <laughs> Holy butt sacks. Oh god, the gas! Well... At least I killed him. <laughs> uh, how do I put my gun away? That'll make me run faster. Yeah, this isn't... The best. I got. I, I'm probably going to die of gas. And this is a car in that garage. No, but. Oh well. I had to sack. I, I. I might be all right. Still got miles to go, got, but I've got a bunch of medical kits. So if I just bosh a medical kit down, when I get to about third of the way through, I might be okay. Because at the moment the gas doesn't hurt me too much. We'll see though, we'll see. No vehicles. No vehicles where you need them. Wait, is that a boat? No. 
Where is it? There is a boat. Okay. Let's quickly eat some first aid. It's going to bring my health up. And I've just got to try and turn this boat around without um, grounding it. F. Is it control one? Turning circles on these bikes are poo. God, this is no <laughs> fuck. Oh my god, fucking turn you! Oh my god, I get it. Oh, ah! <laughs> fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> that was a, a garbled scream of frustration there. Right, how far have I got to go? Not far, not far. Left here, and then straight on a bit. It's the edge. Come on. Come on, son. You can do it. Get in the colour. Get in the thingy. Alright. Can I heal up? Yes. Ah, oh, fuse. Just gonna drink some energy drink. Don't know why I did that. It'll make me heal a little bit better. Alright, so I can carry on in the water all the way. I'll just follow this river. It's been an interesting match. I've never heard a grown man make that noise before since Cali I don't think I've ever made that noise before, to be honest. First time for everything. Sail, you bastard, says KVNT. I'm sailing like a... Oh, God, there's a guy right there. Please don't shoot me. Ah! Fuck you! Fuck you, don't shoot my boats, it's amazing. There we go. Yes. Best thing to do will be... I'm going to come up here. I hope that guy driving didn't park up. I didn't hear him park up. I wonder if it's worthwhile me sticking around here and trying to shoot that guy that tried to shoot me. In the boat. I mean, that might be him in the car, I, I guess. Yeah, I like the way that this new computer, it doesn't, when it rains in this game, it doesn't grind to a halt either. Yeah, no idea where the guy who was shooting at me when I was in the boat has gone, but I presume he'd have been this way by now. He'd have been around. So I'm going to go and hold up in this building over here, I think.
Oh shit, hold on, mate. Hold on. Fuck. Oh dear. So I need to be over there now. There's gonna be a load of people in those buildings to my right over there. There's like a city over there. Guarantee there'll be a load of them going north from the building. So I'm gonna try and stick, perhaps. I don't know if it's a good idea, actually. A big lake's there. I need to cross the bridge and then go round. So dangerous, there's a guy driving over there. Let's just keep out of sight as much as possible by sticking to the rocks. Strict in a play area in one minute. That's enough time to get into the safe zone. Looks like... Looks like I'm the only person coming up this end. Seems like a duct a boat there. Planes going overhead. Shush plane. Now the, the 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 difficult bit's gonna be when I get to this these buildings up here because a hundred percent there are gonna be people in those buildings. And They hopefully won't see me before I see them. Okay, there's one, two cars parked. Ah! Let's fuck, let's be naughty. Avoid these buildings. I'm going to try and steal one of their cars. I can hear another car, actually. There's... Oh, what? Oh, fuck. I didn't hear that car coming at all. I, I mean, I heard it come in, and then all of a sudden I died. It's like a stealth behind car. Son of a poo face. Oh, I got a kill. Oh, that sucks. I didn't have any ammo in my gun either. Durr. Oh, that sucks. <clears throat> How could that car have not made any noise? Stealth car. Had one of those uh, newfangled stealth engines installed. Come on, don't get stuck this time. I always do think it's the wrong way. I don't know why I, my, I can't... It always sounds like things are coming from in front of me when they're coming from behind. It's weird. So what I was going to do, if that car hadn't run me over, was run over to the other cars, steal one of them, and drive into the trees and hide in the trees. Rather than risk going into a building and stuff. But What I didn't expect was a ghost car to come along and uh, screw me up. This is one of the new guns. The new sniper rifle that comes with a a scope. I've never found it in the actual game, which is uh, annoying because it's awesome. Very fast firing, great scope scope, and I think you can set it. Yeah, you can you can set it to auto as well, so you can be like 
obviously the recoil there is a little bit insane, but never mind. Got your headphones on the wrong way around. Maybe. I always thought this one was left. Yeah, left and right. Yeah. I've got them on the right way around, but maybe I'll have to switch them over. Yep, no horrible noise either on the markets. Very nice. Best best times. Okay. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna try and glide all the way to the crossroads. I think. I think I should have brown pants. Um, I think I should have pretty much all to myself if I go all that far. <clears throat> 39 millimeters, so it's better at close range, says uh, Miss CP Cheats. Oh, I see, okay. You got your ears the wrong way around, says Mr. DM. I reckon I do, Mr. DMB89. I need an ear reversal operation. Stat! Bring me the ear reversing scissors. Hello to all 340 people watching right now. I hope you're enjoying this uh, Let's Play of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds as I test out my brand new PC. It's so much better than my old PC, so uh, that's awesome. So there'll be some good good quality streams on the way, less screen tearing, less jitters, less artifacts, less glitching. Uh, still the same old mediocre gameplay skills though, but you know, that's one thing I can't upgrade unfortunately. Although, you know, saying that, I've got two kills this stream so far. Yes, one of the guys was stuck in the water and took pretty much every single piece of ammo I had but still I got two kills and I am proud alright let's have a look where am I I am out of the safe zone it's fine don't mind <clears throat> Uh, specs are like an i5 GT1060, if that makes sense to someone. doesn't make sense to me, I don't know. All I know is the graphics look good in it. The graphics look good. Game is shiny. To manage to install my uh, my own capture card day to day, proud of that. <clears throat> I want this game so bad, but I don't have a sense as freezing madness. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to hear that freezing madness. <clears throat> what I used to do when I uh, when I had zero cash when I was a student to save up money for things <clears throat> was I used to you'd have money for food and stuff and whatever. If I went to the shops or went to the student union for a drinky poo, whenever I'd come back, whatever was in my pocket, that would go in a in a little savings box, whether it was 50p or you know a five pound note. Whatever at the end of the night would go in my savings box. Now, it took a while to save up for things. But um, you know, I managed to get <coughs> managed to get myself a second-hand Super Nintendo and some games. Doing it that way, while still having money to go out and get drunk, which is the main main thing. Ah, it's gunfire very close. And a car. That means it's... Because no, I'm looking in this direction, and there's nothing there.
Pretty sure I closed the door behind me. Oh. So it should be in front of me. From the way the audio cues were, that car should have been in front of me. But it's going off down that way. <laughs> So fuck knows. Hello to Lydia. Someone else is here. This building. <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> what the shit? Shot that guy in the penis. Shot him square in the dick. That would have brought anyone down. God damn it. SK-12 shotgunned me in the face. I think I should have used my um, my Uzi on burst, maybe. <clears throat> Full auto, yeah. That's the point. I always the the, th the reason why I normally switch on to sing stay on single is because my accuracy is not great, and when the um, the recoil goes in uh, with the auto fire uh, with the uh, full auto that even makes my uh, aim even worse <clears throat> I was surprised how many people landed at the crossroads then because I didn't see anyone landing near me and that, that was a high traffic zone then oh you fucking Throw there, not. <clears throat> uh, no E3 for me, no Eric Carlson. Chris and Aoife are out at E3 at the moment. So, uh, I'm, uh, I, I, I've done my stint. We did loads of night shifts covering all the, uh, the conferences. So I'm unwinding now with a bit of Battlegrounds. 20 minutes left on this live stream and then I'm off skis. I'm gonna basic I'm gonna have an early night tonight. And then, do you know what? I was playing had a weird boost then. I was clever. I booked off. I booked booked Thursday and Friday off work, so after this stream I'm done until Monday. Hi -oh. Why do some streamers have their face on the corner of the stream? Is there a good game-related reason? Or is it vanity or something else? Is Petri Holopainen? Good question. I used to stream just with my voice, and people started saying they wanted to see my face, and so I started streaming with my face. And now, uh, now if I stream without my face, people go, Ian, where's your face? I think it's just... Um, it, it's 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 better to better for seeing people's reactions and stuff. You can hear me go, oh fuck! But um, if you can see me going red faced and ragey as well, just adds a little bit of extra entertainment value, I guess. But yeah, I never used. To, well, I, I've I've streamed with face cam for many years now, but for the first I don't know six to eight months, I didn't. Ginger face or we riot, says John D. There, see you go. There you go, even. See, there you go. 
I'll get my words right one day. Boo -ba -doo. I could I could put my uh, I could put the face cam on the other side of the screen. That is correct. But um, if you look at the title of the screen of the stream, you'll see it says Ian has a new PC. Uh, so I've literally just got a new PC, and this is kind of like my test first full stream. So there's a uh, I just cobbled together the settings real quick. So I haven't haven't optimized everything for streaming yet. What I've put trousers on that won't do. Goodbye trousers. What? I don't want a half a gas mask. I want the full gas mask. All right, so what have we got? I've played a lot of this game now. Like I put quite a few hours into it. I, I actually, I think I prefer playing with friends, like in in squads and stuff, to playing solo. Solo's all right. Um, it's a lot scarier, I think, than when you're playing with friends. But there's something quite cool about playing with mates and setting up ambushes and stuff and it's easier to I find it I find it incredibly hard to spot people. So it's always good to have some backup there going, there's a guy there You know, like, oh shit there is Nothing. Just have a look at the map quickly. I am out of the safe zone. I am trout of the safe zone. Sometimes there's a car spawns there. No. Nope. What about up by the bridge? Sometimes a car spawns by the bridge. What the fucking issues? Uh, is that a car or is that a bush? I don't know. That's a dead car. That is a burning car. Oh well. I'm not too far out of the... Whoa, shit! Not too far out of the safe zone. This will be alright. Hey, Colby Carlson. Keel Hansen's watching from the office. He's working overtime. Nice. Hope you're getting paid uh, time and a half, Keel. Uh, thanks to everyone who's joining me as well. Uh, 350 people watching right now. Hope you're uh, hope you're enjoying this stream. I'm not the best battlegrounds player, but I have a laugh anyway. So it's good to have you all along checking it out. And uh, thank you very much for all your feedback on my uh, on my new PC as well. It's helped me get. Uh, get get it all sorted out and up to ship shape stream quality, which is much appreciated. There's a few little things I need to fiddle around with, a few little things I need to do. I was streaming through XSplit earlier, and XSplit in this game do not get on. It gr it just just grinds to a halt. It's I don't know what the hell's wrong with it, but uh, it's working all right now. I'm, I'm streaming through OBS now, and it's working uh, working pretty fine, and dandy. So I'm happy about that. Is that going? Yep. Cardigan's Rules downloading this game right now. I love this game. So far, this has been... If, if someone asked me what my game of the year was so far, I'd have to say this. It's uh, I've played it. It's the game I've played the most this year. It's the game I've had probably the most amount of laughs on. And, uh, yeah, it's just... It's one of those games that really, like, sticks with you and... Afterwards, like 
there's normally some cool kind of story to tell after you've played it and stuff. Um, you know, something silly happens that, that you remember. And plus, another thing that I like about it is the fact that even though it's early access, it, it still works incredibly well and much better than other games like it that are uh, that have been in pr like development for longer times so yeah big fan of it and loads of cool stuff um i saw brendan green do his talk at the pc gaming show and there's loads of stuff planned for it like uh more weather effects like fog and things there's um what type of scope is that? Four times scope. I'll put the holographic sight on it for now. There is like vaulting jumping animations coming. There is uh, 2D and 3D replays are coming. So you can see like after you've watched the match, you can play it back and see where you got shot from. And like it'll be cool to make machinimas from and things. So yeah, excited about that. So yeah, loads of cool stuff coming, uh, but they've always said that their focus would still be on keeping performance up, so... Yeah, hopefully it goes strength to strength. Because, uh, like, the last game I played loads of like this was Rainbow Six Siege. Loved that game, but... I think I played a bit too much of it because I'm a little bit, a little bit me about it now. Have I got? No, I haven't. Have I? No, I do need a bulletproof vest. Let's have a look. Where am I? I'm in the safe zone. I could do with an assault rifle rather than this. Oh, a, I can hear a car. There it is, look. I'm just gonna. I think I might just let him go. That sounds like it's in front of me now. Right, I'm gonna let him go. No point drawing unnecessary attention to myself. Go and check these buildings. Sometimes these buildings have vehicles spawning outside them, so hey. Oh shit, I want that. I want to get rid of my shotgun. And I'm going to put the four times scope on that. Dookie. Can hear another car. Oh, that. What the fuck is it? Should be in front of me. Oh, well, it's gone, but. Oh well. My backwards ears couldn't work it out again. Is that? I think that's a. I think that's a broken one. Now here, health and ting. Pow 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 pow. Shitty crossbow. building. I'm trying so hard to resist buying a Switch, says UK Beast. I said that I wasn't going to buy a Switch until Mario Odyssey comes out, and I think I'm going to stick to my guns on that, because to be honest, there's nothing else on the system that I really, really want. I've got Zelda on the Wii U. Um, they're just not not bothered by any of the other offerings that I've seen. 
Ah, there you go. Alright. Where are we heading? Somewhere dead centre. Somewhere dead centre, but that's not, like, super going to get me murdered. Let's go over there. So next time I do a stream of this, I'm not sure when it will be. Uh, there's not very many new games coming out at the moment, so I might try and do another stream of this on this channel on Tuesday and try to get Chris and Johnny along for the ride as well. I think that would be pretty sweet. Uh, I will do streams of this on my personal channel as well, probably, probably tomorrow. I think I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure if anything's coming out next week. Don't think there is. Normally, see, normally on Eurogamer, on Eurogamer Tuesday streams, try to stream something that's new or something that's unreleased that we get early, that we, that we're given permission to stream. Um, and that is normally works well uh, when there's like loads of new stuff out. At the moment, there isn't a great deal of stuff coming out, so we kind of stream things that we're playing at the moment. Like last Tuesday, Chris and Eva played, streamed Overwatch because that's all they ever can play. Um, uh, but yeah, I like Johnny. Last time I did a stream of this with Johnny, his PC couldn't handle it, and. Uh, He's got any... Oh, shit, someone's in this bit. He's got an EPC as well. So he'll be able to play. Might get shot. Might get shot. Might get shot. Might get shot. Didn't get shot. Chris's PC works all right, so so yeah, definite definite stream of this. If not a stream, then definitely a Let's Four play at some point. And we've done me and Chris, pew, 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 pew. me and Chris have done a couple of uh, Let's Plays of this. If you want to see them, they're a bit more edited, so you don't get a load of this wandering around with me padding you actually get it gets into the action a bit more and you get some fun bants fun old bants I can see the guy who was over there Whoever threw that gas canister. Here. Oh, someone's having a shoot. Don't know if that was at me or not, though. Oh, I think I saw someone in that building running around on the bottom floor. Yeah, hello. Shit. Possibly could have shot him. Oh, fuck. That's so close. Is that in that building, I wonder? He's going upstairs. I feel better shooting when he goes in this room. I think he just ran. <laughs> <in there. laughs> 
<laughs> oh no, fuck! Well, God knows where that was coming from, but... Survived. He and your buggy's gone. This is Dominic. What? Oh, my buggy. Well, there's an angry person shooting at me from somewhere. I have no idea where from there. Was it the house next door? Is it like that house? Oh, it's terrible when you don't know where... shot from am I still in the safe zone I'm still I'm kind of I'm kind of dead center in the safe zone Did my buggy really go someone nick it I prick nicked my buggy <laughs> oh I'm in a in a danger zone no where did that where did that Shooting come from. Is that my buggy? Did he, did he tip my buggy over? Bastards. Fuck knows where I got shot from then. Unless it was someone. Maybe it was someone on the hill behind in the trees. That would make sense. Wait. God damn it. Fucking. Ow! I had dead shot on him and I just kept shooting a windowsill. Fucking. And of course he gets me first time. God damn it. Absolute nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Shit. Why? <laughs> Why is people so much better at aiming than I am? <laughs> Fine. Got plenty of health. Shoot the glass! This is Cardigan's rule. Indeed. I was shooting the windowsill rather than the glass. You are just noob, says Astro0420. Well, at least I'm not a noob at typing the English language. Maybe he thinks I've gone away. Peekaboo. Oh, he's still there. He's going to get me again.
hell? How did he see me from there? Right. How long have I... Right, it's six o'clock. Should have finished the stream by now. Should I just kamikaze out there and get him? Or should I wait? See him now. You must think I'm invincible. <laughs> it's hit me so many times. Fuck, and I don't think I've hit him once. So same for now. Does it look like anyone's up on that hill? Do a suicide attack. It says you, Alex. I've chickened out. I was going to do a suicide attack. But we, it's getting close. I'm going to see how long. I, I'm just going to see how long I can survive. I'm going to chicken out and just camp. I don't understand how that guy's so fucking accurate. To be honest, I think that both of them are scared of each other, says DJ Singh. Well, I know 100% that I am scared of him. <laughs> so that you're 50% right, at least, DJ Singh. See him moving now. Do I? Oh, I'm still in the safe zone. Should I have a quick peek? I had a quick peek, couldn't see anything. Still in the safe zone. Oh. Where's that? What is. Who's, who's getting up to some mischief there? Some people running down from those buildings soon. Are well, those buildings still in the? Are well, those buildings are still in the safe zone? So they won't be moving anywhere. People from the school might be. Cheaty bangs. So if I was going to suicide attack that guy in the other house, I could jump off here, jump off the other end, run round and through. That's 14 alive now, nah. I want to see if I can make it to the top 10. Even if it's by being a coward. My best plays are always uh, coward plays. Okay, play area will be restricting soon. If anyone's in the school, they need to be running now. Otherwise, they are going to die. That one? That's a bush. I knew that. I knew it was a bush.
just going quiet for a second because I'm listening for footsteps. Twelve alive. Okay, what I need. Please be in the safe zone. Please be in the safe zone. Please be in the safe zone. Please be in the. Don't! Oh, shit. I think he's shooting at me. Ow. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Fuck! Oh, this is bad. I'm in the wrong building. I'm in the building with that guy. <laughs> oh, you piss badger! Fucking got caught in a bath. Eighth. Ah, oh, knobs. Caught in a bath? Who gets caught in a bath? Say so he gets caught in a bath. Me. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, so close. Top ten though. Made it into the top ten. That's that's all I wanted. Well, I kind of wanted to win, but you know that's not going to happen. Top ten though. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Anyway, that was me dying by bath. So thank you very much, everybody, for watching me uh, test out my brand new PC. I think it works a treat. I hope you agree. Uh, it has been a pleasure playing some of this for you lot. If you did enjoy it and you want to see more live streams here from Eurogamer, do subscribe. Uh, I will be streaming more of this at some point here on the channel, along with my good fellow friends Chris and Johnny and hopefully Aoife as well. Uh, loads of live streams on this channel though as well as daily video gamey goodness so uh, do subscribe stick around as well because uh, later on tonight Chris and Aoife who are in America at E3 right now they will be uh, uploading some more videos for you I'm not sure what they're uploading but they've got some let's plays and stuff to go up so plenty to uh, check out on this channel uh, in the in the next few days and into the into the future as well so yeah thanks for uh, coming and helping me test my PC it's been wonderful a couple of shout outs quickly to the people in the chat uh, Lydia Who, Muffin Mouse 42, Colin, John D, Rainmaker, Nilesh Kumar, Ben Bowen, Gabriel Knights, Cardigans, Rules, Steve Scoes, Ed 2003WX, Brendan Quinn, KVNT, UK Beast 89, Michael Patterson, Dan Grenade. Oh, damn. Uh, Andy Herbert, Raven Akasutsky, who's given me two kisses. Uh, kiss back to you as well ben jobs thanks for watching ben jobs and everyone else uh, it's been it's been my pleasure streaming this for you so uh, i look forward to streaming some for you again very soon have a lovely night and uh, it's going to take me a second to work out how to stop streaming on obit here we go bye